Georgia and Alabama, the SEC title game rematch. The Georgia Bulldogs were favored in that game, got smoked. They are favored again on Monday night. Three-point favorites against Alabama. Where are you going with, Jay? I am. Uh, yeah, I didn't know the line. So uh, in uh, researching uh, the line, I found out that Georgia's favored by three, and I still cannot believe it. I, I, I sent I, you the picks last night. I sent I you the lines. That's the first time I looked at oh, it. Oh, okay. I okay. looked at it all week, and um, I'm, I'm still surprised. I can't figure out how you can pick anybody but Bama. And, and the number being uh, giving Bama points uh, seems insane to me. I'm running with Alabama. I think it's a multiple score difference here. I don't see any way Georgia keeps up with Bama. But again, this is the same story every single year. I pick Bama every single year. The one, the years they win, I uh, put my thumbs up. And the years they lose, I say tough luck. So uh, I'm going once again back to the well, picking Bama, getting points. Still can't believe it. You're a smart guy, Jay. I mean, I have to tell you that. You already know that. But it, this is, you're a smart guy because you're doing the sensible thing. Alabama getting points in any situation, it's a gimme. It, it should be a no brainer Like I said, period, stop. Okay, I'm doing it. I hate to do it. You're going back to the well, and so am I. I picked Georgia in the SEC title game. I may have said on the air that this is going to be a blowout, and it's not going to even be close a few weeks ago, and obviously we know how that went. There was a blowout, just not the way I thought it was going to go. I'm getting back on the horse. I'm doubling down. I will go Georgia. I think they are a, a really good team. This is the year where truly they are, I think, still the only elite team in college football because Alabama, talent-wise, is still there, but they're still so inconsistent to where it's tough to feel like they're going to play their best game and consistently just because we've seen it twice this year. They played great against Ole Miss. They played great against Georgia. I am going to <laughs> – this is a really stupid bet, I'm telling you. I'm going to bank on the fact that Nick Saban won't have his guys ready to play in a consistent level, and Georgia will find a way to come out and win. So it's stupid, but I'm going Georgia. Yeah, I hear you. I, I, I'm trying to think, and I don't know the answer to the question, which is why I bring it up, but I'm trying to think, especially in late December, early January, the last time Bama was an underdog. Uh, in May, actually, I'm trying to think, maybe the SEC title game, uh, like against Florida when Tim Tebow was there. I think they won that game. Like they have well, barely been underdogs in general, let alone, like I said, this late in the year. And that it's a different era now for Bama. Uh, that was when Florida was good. That was mm -hmm. when uh, Urban Meyer was uh, leading the way. <laughs> Things have changed. Florida stinks, and Bama's great. That is very true. I will say the one thing I, I will say about Georgia, I did like how they came out and beat the crap out of Michigan. Like, I, you could have a hangover from the, uh, from the Alabama game and have that be in your head and kind of have that loss trickle into a, a, a playoff game. I am encouraged the fact that they came out and beat the brakes off of Michigan without even thinking about it. I think that, while it's not Alabama, I think the, the mental hurdling of the jump over a team is different. I do think that, for me, it feels has me feeling a little bit better about Georgia, where they are able to flush that loss from Alabama and just beat the brakes off of Jim Harbaugh and Michigan. Not to mention, Ooh. as we know, Nick Saban uh, is one of the greatest coaches um, Ever, ever. But you, if you compare him to someone like Bill Belichick, we always talk about giving the um, giving the coach time to prepare, and uh, it's not just a single week. It's not just two weeks because they've already played him True. this year. So uh, there is plenty of film to go around, and I think any time you give him this extended amount of time to uh, prepare, I just I, I I can't even see Georgia keeping it close. Jay, like you said, you're a smart man here. That's why we're bringing on the show because I'm not. I'm I'm taking the sucker bet here. I'm going with the Bulldogs. But like I said, it just it's common sense to n pick Alabama, but sense for me is not common. I guess in this pick, we'll go with the Bulldogs <laughs> here. In uh, in an upset, I guess we'll call it, even though they're favored. Which I feel like you're right. It would be an upset if they do win. Oh, no doubt about it. There's, uh, you know, it's like, who cares what, who's the, uh, who's the underdog and who's the favorite. Right. Um, but there's just no chance Georgia hangs with Bama. I, uh, I'm very much looking forward to it because it's Monday night uh, with uh, no other football. True. Uh, so it'll be fun. And I look forward to the national championship, uh, championship game every year. Uh, I just, I, I don't think this is close. I hope they can keep it close because I'd love a good game. Don't see it. Yeah, that's the thing with college football when it comes to the playoff. It's usually the national title game is a good one, but the the path there and the playoff games, the semis have just been just awful. Yeah. Absolutely awful.